Hello everyone, it's me, Ryan Grittella Bay. I know I'm back. I know. I didn't... Well, I did see this coming because I planned to do this. But yeah, I have returned like Jesus. No, actually I'm not going to compare myself to Jesus. Jesus Christ. So today we are going to talk about uh, a little trip that I went on actually. Uh, I went to, um, I missed him, not coming. Uh, I went to the Edinburgh Fringe, which was a lot of fun. Um, if anybody who hasn't gone, I would hugely suggest it because it's a hell of a lot of fun. And yeah, um, I got to see the likes of um, Kate Bush, not Kate Bush, Kate Butch. Kate Butch is still good. Um, might as well have been Kate Bush because it was just such a fantastic show. I genuinely loved it. Uh, it was so funny. Um, yeah. Uh, had probably one of the weirdest experiences of my life when it came to that show. Uh, so, basically, um, I was allowed to go in front of the queue because of uh, my crutches and I struggle to get certain bits in places um, and I made the most of this so I decided to go and take that and we sat in the front row and it was me my dad and my dad's girlfriend Jill uh, hi Jill you all right um, I'm my dad hi if you're watching um, I'll probably tell you about this anyways so you know and we um, we sat in the front row. Um, my dad was very reluctant about it. But I was like, "Oh no, it'll be fine." No, no, no. It's, it, I, I really want, I really want to sit in the front row because it's Kate Butch, and I'm a big fan of Kate Butch, as you can probably tell, because you know I want to go and see them. And the the show, you know, um, it started and um, you got the cop context explained to us um basically this um it was a kate bush kind of jukebox musical kind of thing uh, a bit like mamma mia which uh there was a good few jokes in there about that actually which were great um yeah it's it is oh so funny and then um kate wanted people on stage and one of these people um because it was a um it was a wedding scene and uh they'd already established that the dad was dead so um the person who um kate's character would have wanted uh kathy um you, you get it yeah kathy wuthering heights yeah good well done and the one that Kathy would want on stage is their dead dad. And they wanted people uh, on stage who would be the dead dad. And she instantly saw my dad and <laughs> saw that he looked very uncomfortable. And I was like, okay, we're doing this. And uh, yeah, um, he got a bed sheet um, put on him. And yeah, um, it was cloud busting the song. And when I tell you that I saw a side to my dad that I'm not used to seeing, they let their creative juices flow. Talking about juices flowing with my dad, that's good. Ugh. Um, but yeah, he improvs the house down. Uh. I mean, it was very small. It was just like going like that, like underneath this sheet as a ghost. And people were laughing on the side and people were like gradually laughing. And then Kate Butch saw it and laughed. And I would just say like, my dad's performed with a Rue girl before me. <laughs> uh, which was just absolute madness. Um, but I have to say he was good. 
I, I can't even deny that. And after the show, I went to go get a picture with Kate because, you know, couldn't resist. And also, it was free. It was free. Um, I did get a bag, though, for about, it was £12. I left it at my dad's, though. So um, he's got a bit of his dead daughter with him now, uh, which is nice. And um, I I basically went, oh, um, so I guess we have the same dead dad now. And um, he's like, oh, that was your dad. Um, you know, I had a tiny little conversation about it. Then we took a picture. And I was like, oh, there he is. And um, Kate kind of insisted that um, he'd get in the picture. And now we have a family, pu- family photo, which, you know, is nice. And um, they're from the same place. They're from North Allerton, both from North Allerton, which is absolute. It, it just made it even weirder. I'm not going to lie. It was just surreal. And um, he was the best dead dad that they had in the show so far. And uh, yeah, it's definitely one that I'm not going to forget for sure. Um, but she was really lovely and we had a great time. And yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, there's still time to see Kate Butch, actually. Um, Wolverine Shites. Uh, go and see that in um, in Edinburgh. Uh, it was Pleasant Square. Yeah, Pleasant Square. Uh, yeah. You should do that. Um, go running up to that uh, place. Uh, that was Kate Butch rest, reference. Um, cloud busting. I don't know. I can't think of any others. Um, so... I also got up to, um, well, I saw some other shows as well, like um, comedy and different things like that, but those those ones I don't. Um, I might talk about it in a bit, but uh, for now, I want to talk about the people who I met, who um, I knew from Instagram as well. Um, uh, Hamish Macbeth, an incredible drag king. Um, I was able to meet them on Saturday at the Beehive in Edinburgh and they were doing um, a burlesque show which unfortunately I I wasn't actually able to see because my dad and his girlfriend were ill so uh, but it was so good to meet them finally Uh, they're an incredible king Um, they are um, disabled like myself so um, I look up to them and what they are able to do um, despite, you know, all of that, and um, we're going to get to work together very soon, which is incredibly exciting. Um, and also um, got to meet an incredible um, producer has been, who um, I've done a highlight in Queens on, actually. What, uh, well, I mean, I've done both, both of them highlighting drag artists, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... They were an absolute delight, uh, so lovely. Um, the fact that they uh, began drag at 60 and are just absolutely killing it at the moment. And you know what, they deserve it. They really do. They are just such a sweet person. Uh, went to get a burrito. Well, I did anyways, they had a salad. Um, healthier option, uh, I respect that. Um, mind you, uh, I have been keeping a lot better recently, uh, sort of mentally and physically. Uh, still on crutches, though. Uh, yeah, which is you know, is what it is. But uh, yeah, um, I had an absolute blast at uh, Edinburgh. It was just so many lovely people, uh, gorgeous human beings, and um, so many creative people. And I love being around creative people. Um, because they're, they're my people. They're, um, I think every drag artist can relate to that. And yeah, uh, I am turning 26 soon, uh, this Saturday. So, um, glad I got to have a little thing before then. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of a getaway. Uh, mind you, I'm going to a Comic Con on that day. So, um, might be might be meeting Susan Twist from uh, Doctor Who this year, so uh, yeah. Um, but for now, um, 
I'm going to sign off, but I'm going to do a couple of videos after this, so I um, have a couple coming up over the week, so, and um, me and Cereza are finally going to do this um, Drag Tale uh, Priscilla Queen of the Desert episode, which I'm very excited about, which I'm very excited about, a uh, shaker groove thing, shaker groove baby year, I don't know why I did that, 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 that just, the Australian bit I didn't mean to do, but, but yeah, uh, banging soundtrack. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and, um, stay tuned. Yeah. XOXO, RCB.